We have a podcast. Link below. It's so funny and amazing. Oprah loves it. Glam, money, Hollywood, and robbing Lindsay Lohan, the Lifetime movie. Coming this fall. Hey, it's Lucas. Welcome back to the Chan Chan. This is actually a Lifetime movie. We all know that Lifetime movies, the only purpose they serve is to warn nervous mothers across the nation that their kids are up to no good. We've watched the Lifetime movie that warned parents that their kids definitely have gonorrhea together. We've also watched the one that warned mothers everywhere that their daughters are secretly escorts. This Lifetime movie is here to warn all of you mothers that your teen kids are robbers. They're robbing and they don't give a shit. They're gonna go to prison because of their burglary. Watch this movie to find out why. This particular Lifetime movie is actually based on a true crime, the bling ring. We've all heard of it. Those Oops. You know, they robbed Paris Hilton, Lindsay Lohan, Billy Ray Cyrus, Paula Dean. They just went through the Hollywood Hills and robbed. And it was wrong. It was not right. I just have to see how Lifetime handles this story. <laughs> They're gonna make it even more dramatic. There's gonna be a sugar daddy involved. I'm excited. There was an actual like movie theaters movie about the bling ring. Emma Watson was in it. This isn't that movie. This is Lifetime's version. The teens are out of control. They're they're burglars. Let me guess, you think your teen is at the movies right now? Social distancing with a mask on? Ha! <laughs> Good one. They're out on the streets robbing Avril Lavigne. Stop them. <laughs> okay, let's get into this. Of course the movie titles and credits are gonna be shown through social media status updates. I live, I love. Lifetime, you've done it again. Hey, can you stop so I can get out? Well, do you want me to wait to make sure it's the right place? The right place. Did huh? you have your pills? Okay. Um, would you want me to pick you up after school? I'll find her right there. Just have a terrific day and remember that they are lucky to have you. Wow, you can tell your kids everything the parenting books want you to tell them. You can tell your kids they're beautiful, they're special. They're gonna make it, but they could still end up getting involved in a teenage seven million robbing scheme that ends in prison. Really makes you think. <laughs> so anyway, I guess it's this guy's first day at school or some shit. <laughs> okay, this sucks. He is getting bullied so hard by all the other students just for walking. He's literally just walking and all the other kids are like, ha ha, loser, what is he doing? Literally, what is he doing? He's such a geek. If this guy is having a problem with bullying, then all of us are screwed. He's a male model. He has high cheekbones, puffed lips. He's got it all. Okay, mock stars, the party has officially started. Hey. Welcome home. I know. No applause. <laughs> Popular girl has stepped on the scene. <laughs> She's definitely gonna be the queen bee of the whole bling ring. She's gonna be the one telling everyone who to rob. She's gonna be ordering them all around like you rob Paula Deen, you rob Zack and Cody. Stat. I just love how this girl's so effing cool. She didn't even have to park in the parking lot. She just pulled up, got out, everyone gathers when you don't even use the proper parking spots. Power move. Photo op, come on guys, come on. Hey. Two choices, join the party or take the picture. I wanna be friends with this girl. She pulled up in a convertible, parks wherever the fuck she pleases, and then gathers everyone together for a group face-tuned pic. Queen. Dress codes are for losers. Lindsay Lohan wore the same shoes to the People's Choice Awards. They said she had- Edge. My dad works for a studio he goes every year. <laughs> I love how they're bonding over the knowledge of what Lindsay Lohan wore to the People's Choice Awards. You know, that's how all true friendships are formed. At least all friendships that end in jail from robbing Lindsay Lohan. So this guy is starting to get accepted by the popular crowd. He won them over with his knowledge of Lindsay Lohan's outfits. You know, sometimes you think you're gonna have to impress the cool kids by being good at sports or like having a lot of Instagram followers. But really, all you need to know is what Lindsay Lohan wore to the People's Choice Awards. If you're starting a new school this fall, take notes. <laughs> Seriously, we live here? 
Thanks for the ride. Just straight up acting like his house is a literal shithole. Seriously? We live here? This just looks like a regular ass neighborhood. Like, I don't know where this convertible girl lives, but it's nice. The lawns are mowed. This is the type of neighborhood you'd see people frolicking in on skateboards, barbecues in the backyard. Dad's mowing the lawn. Like, why is she hating? Why am I so triggered is the real question. Whoa, style setback. This is a regular ass house. It looks like a nice family home. The decorations are on point. The mom went to Home Goods. She went to Michael's and she decorated to her little heart's desire. But this convertible girl is disgusted. She's repulsed. This is a pile of shit to her. Now I guess to join the popular group, he has to recite celebrity gossip knowledge or something. I don't know what's going on. Paris Hilton gets paid an appearance fee for her extensions. So one for her, one for her hair. Not bad. What else? Tyle Cruz is playing Basso this weekend. Private party, invitation only. Are you going? To Basso? Oh, you can't know and not go. I live for how Tayo Cruz was just name dropped. Tayo Cruz, dynamite like it's dynamite. Where is Tayo Cruz? Release a single. Get to the studio. I don't care how over music you are. You're getting to the studio tonight and you're writing a follow-up hit to dynamite to save 2020. We need a British rapper. Dirty picture by Tayo Cruz featuring Kesha. Take a dirty picture for me. That made everyone start taking nudes. Tayo Cruz started the trend of nudes. And nobody thanks him for that. Nobody does. Besides me. Anyway, um, their friendship is off to a great start. Um, she shitted on his house. She's been grossed out by the inside of his house. And now they're swapping celebrity gossip. This can only end in one way. Prison. Prison for robbery is how I think this is gonna end. I have a feeling. Not because of what the movie's called or what story it's based on, but I just have a feeling that this is gonna end in robbery that will end up in prison. I'm psychic. People who think they're psychic though. <laughs> now they're at a famous people store, obviously. I don't believe this place. I told you. It's like where famous people go. Robert Pattinson, Orlando Bloom. Wait, Bloom? Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <sighs> Robert Pattinson shops here. Time to rob. They just did their first robbery together. <laughs> Just kidding, this isn't good. Do not rob people. You know, it might seem innocent. Doing the five finger discount to one little item at a store, it might seem like, oh, this isn't a big deal. I'm just stealing one thing. You think so, huh? Really, you think so? Starts off with one item and escalates to being part of a teenage bling ring that ends in prison because you robbed millions of dollars from innocent people. Don't rob, don't shoplift. An ad by Demi Lovato. Thanks Demi Lovato for sponsoring this video. Look at you. So handsome. Natalie and I went shopping. How did you pay for all this? I, uh, I didn't. I mean, Natalie got it for me. We went to this designer discount store. Well, that was nice of her. She must really like you. Warning to parents everywhere. Has your teen gotten new clothes recently, mysteriously? They're like, oh yeah, mom, I bought this shirt from Target. I paid for it via my job flipping fried chicken at the local KFC establishment. Ha ha, I paid for it. <laughs> nice try, Sarah. You're part of a teenage robbery ring, which will result in prison. Speak to your teen kids before it's too late. All right, now they're breaking into Paris Hilton's house. That escalated quick. Like they went from robbing a store to robbing Paris Hilton's house. Lifetime didn't want to waste any time. They were like, we got a time slot to fill. Let's jump to the burglary before the moms click off. I stand. You won't believe how much stuff she has. Oh my God, what are you doing? I'm going shopping. You need to put those back. It's a department store. Three of everything she won't even notice. This girl needs help. She's sick. Do you know how hard Paris Hilton worked to buy all those clothes, honey? Paris Hilton has done so many things to earn her fortune. One of them being friends with Tana Manjo. She's now friends with Tana Manjo to make money. Don't steal her clothes like it's nothing. She works hard for those. She cooks lasagna to the night hours on YouTube to pay for those clothes. Can't believe this girl's stealing all of them. Right, this isn't a store. You can't just walk in and take stuff. Photo up. I'll be good, I promise. Come on. Uh, just one picture. Okay, let's go, come on. Just updating the IG story. 
Let me upload this online. Just robbing Paris Hilton's house, LOL. Hope we don't go to jail. Hashtag, that's hot. These teens need to be stopped, and I mean now. This is Zach Chirpa, live from Paris Hilton's closet. <laughs> Is it, guys, bigger than life? She's just fully vlogging the entire experience. Can you imagine if you were watching your favorite YouTubers vlog and they were like, hey, I'm gonna go out to dinner with my husband. Up, oh, just kidding, we just passed by Nathan Cress's house. <laughs> So we're just gonna rob it and vlog it. Ha ha, we're in Nathan Cress's closet. Ha 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 ha, we're robbing him. LOL, thumbs up. Paris Hilton's home was robbed last night in a heist so lame, police think it could be a stunt. <laughs> I like hate them. My house got robbed and that's not hot. Anyway, gotta go. Tana Monjo's calling. Bye bitches. I think we should do Audrina. She's got great jeans. Those are custom. Her ass only. Hmm. I have her. Right here. Her blog says she's in New York and I just found her address online. <laughs> what time is it? Let me check. Oh, it's time to rob Adrena Patridge and steal her custom made jeans that are made only for her ass. Get in the car, losers. We're robbing. This is wrong on so many levels. Do not rob people. Oh yeah, look at them rob. It's all fun and games until Adrena Patridge has a ring doorbell security camera. <laughs> Got ya, teens. You might have Adrena's custom made jeans made specifically for her ass in your duffel bag, but your ass is going to jail. The bang. Don't rob. An ad by Bella Thorne. Thanks, Bella Thorne, for sponsoring this video. Did you see that video? I think he's right. You think people will recognize me? I think it's amazing. This is so sick. We are totally hot. We got 100,000 hits. That's more than Beyonce on a good day. The popular girl doesn't give a shit. She's just excited they're famous now because Adrena posted the security footage online. Doesn't matter how they get them, all they want is them cold, hard YouTube views. It doesn't matter how I get the YouTube views, I don't care if I have to rob a whole house. As long as I get those YouTube views, that's all I care about, is probably what the girl who ate her tampon a decade ago was thinking before she posted it online. You know what? YouTube views aren't worth it. Take it from me. Every video I post gets 37 million views. And am I happy? Yes, but not because of the YouTube views. I'm happy because every single day, I direct message Mandy Moore saying, hi, I hope you're doing well, smiley face. She's She's never replied, but it makes me feel happy. You don't need YouTube views to be happy. An ad by Kris Jenner. So, what you gonna blow him out? Uh, Zach's not coming. He's out with his friends. Wow, so sad. Uh, poor dad can't even have his son celebrate his birthday with him. Cause his son is too busy robbing Tayo Cruz in the Hollywood Hills. So sad. When you lose your teen kids to robbery. Happens to every parent at some point. <laughs> okay, this is fucked up. This guy is seeing his poor grandma in the old folks home, but not to be a good grandson, but because he wants to store Adrena Patridge's stolen custom designer jeans specifically made for her ass in the poor grandma's old folks home closet. This is messed up. The poor grandma just wants her grandson to visit her. She doesn't know she's being used in his crime, his teen burglary crime. Mom's out there if you're still watching. Next time your teen is like, let's visit grandma. <laughs> Don't be fooled. They're doing it to help their crime that they're gonna end up in prison for. Good luck. I should honestly start a parenting course. That's based solely on Lifetime movies. <laughs> All right, ladies, glasses up. <laughs> to Zach. Where would we be if he hadn't come to our school? Glasses up, ladies, to robbing and stealing from innocent people such as Taye Cruz and Paula Dean. Friends forever. All that matters is designer clothes and posting photos of myself on MySpace with stolen Chanel. Hell yes. Hey, so my sister's having a party this Friday. She was hoping you could make it? Uh, we have plans. Hey, tell her I'll do my best. All right, right cool. Hey, who is that? Who cares? You should, loser. 
Tell the truth. He went from getting bullied to being the bully. The classic story that always happens once you get popular from robbing celebrities and stealing their designer items. You get your pretty little hands on one pair of Drake Bell's designer pajamas and you become a jerk. Happens every time. I've lost so many friends because of this. Great, now they're robbing Miranda Cosgrove. This is disgusting. The teens must be stopped. Wait, is one of them literally making a sandwich during the robbery? You're stealing food now? This is getting out of hand. Get your own goddamn mayonnaise. Like stealing the clothes, that's horrible. But going into the pantry, you deserve prison. I am so hungry. Me too. Probably from all the shopping. You know, we stay up all night, and then when we wake up, we're starving. Oh, right? Hey, Megan Fox, I just robbed your house. <laughs> yeah, I'm so parched. I'm famished. Robbing the rapper Pitbull's house has me exhausted. Boo Boo, we saw the footage from the security camera. You ate your way through that robbery. You were eating the poor celebrity's food during the burglary. You can't be that hungry. You ate all of Pitbull's Kraft macaroni and cheese. That's low. In real life during the bling ring, I'm pretty sure that um the teens robbed Paris Hilton four times before she even noticed she was robbed because she has so many clothes. But if those teens robbed the pantry of any celebrity's house, you would know the first time. Like steal a couple t-shirts, people might not notice, but when you get the Boom Chicka Pop sweet corn popcorn packet out of your pantry, you're calling the cops that night. They'll notice right away. Okay, who are you? I'm just wondering, haven't I seen you somewhere or something? Um, I don't think so. Really? I don't know. Are you somebody? <laughs> you're not on a show? No. Okay. Sorry for bothering you, take your time. Because they're wearing Miranda Cosgrove's stolen tank tops, everyone is starting to think they're famous. This happens to me every time I leave the house. People are like, wait, I know you from somewhere. How do I know you? Wait, I just realized, you're that super hot guy that was in the movie Magic Mike. And I'm like, no, that's not me. Happens all the time. They're talking about us. I saw it on a newsstand yesterday and I thought, who can I show it to? Oh, I know, my best friend, Zach. You don't seem very excited. I'm just, it feels a little out of control. It's not out of control. It's exactly what we wanted. We're famous. Aren't you ecstatic, best friend? We're famous. We're on the cover of Teen Crime Magazine. They did a whole spread. Oh my gosh, they said in the article, if we get caught, we'll be in prison for 10 years. Isn't this exciting? This is lit. We are celebrities. I'm wearing Miranda Cosgrove's underwear right now. A moment like this. Some people wait a lifetime for a moment like this. Some people search forever for that one special key. <laughs> what am I doing? Because you don't own me, that's why. God, are we going out Friday? We better, I'm running out of clothes. I was thinking we do Lohan. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> She's my hero. I'm such a huge fan of Lindsay Lohan. If only I could show my support to her in some way. Oh, I'll rob her house and steal all of her belongings. Like, can't you be a fan of someone and not rob their house? Holy shit. This is the same energy as those people who go to YouTubers' houses and expect that like they're gonna invite them in or something. Like James Charles is gonna be like, oh, hi sister, come in, I'm making cookies. Have a seat. Do you want a back rub, sister? In reality, all that's gonna happen is they're gonna be like Paris Hilton in that clip earlier. Up, oh, the FBI is after them. It's all over, robbing teens. Hope you had fun wearing Adrena's custom-made jeans designed specifically for her ass because it's gonna be about time to give them back. I wonder if in real life, if the bling ring did give back any of the belongings and did Audrina Patrick's feel weird like putting on her custom made jeans again after knowing these robbing teens wore them? Did Paula Dean continue to wear the Crocs that they stole? Like there's a lot of questions. You lie, you cheat, and you steal. This is the exact reaction that my family has to me whenever they find out I've cheated in an intense game of Monopoly. Happens every time. Oh, there he is in the poor grandma's house again and he's unloading her closet because it's full of stolen items from the rapper Pitbull's house. If only the grandma knew. Stay away from me. 
five minutes, okay? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to get me in trouble too? No, no, I swear. No, I can't do this. I I'm freaking out. I, I can't sleep. I keep waiting for the police to show up at my house. I've been thinking about it. They didn't come to your house because you're not on any of the tapes. Oh, you're sad now, robbing teen? Well, you should have thought about that before you stole Queen Latifah's lingerie. Bethany, you really should have thought this through before you went to Jerry Trainer's house and stole his blouses. The FBI is on their case, but the crazy fame obsessed teens don't give a shit. Here they are robbing Gibby from my Carly's house. But luckily the detectives find them. They all get um charged and they go to prison. The end. What a beautiful movie. I hope you all learned a lesson. Don't rob. If you're a fan of someone and you like their style, do not go to their house and rob their clothes. Just go on Amazon and buy the cheap version of the clothes. Save you a lot of money and time that you won't have to spend in prison. Thank you moms across the nation for watching. Keep your teens in line. Don't forget to subscribe. I have a podcast. It's really amazing. Links are below. I post new podcasts every Tuesday. Check it out, sisters. Bye! <laughs>